Martin, Marlowe, Highland, the 1st of September 1969, the 12th of December 2006, was a major Irish criminal and gang boss. Early life Martin Highland was born to a working class family from St. Attractor Road in Cabra, Dublin. As a teenager he led a gang of young criminals from Cabra, involved in burglary, car theft and robbery. In 1986, 18-year-old Highland was sent to prison for various offenses including conspiracy to commit robbery, burglary, malicious damage and car theft. Rise to prominence after his release from serving a short prison sentence in the early 1990s, Highland became involved in drug dealing. He moved into the big league of crime when he became associated with P.J. Judge, a major drugs trafficker and gang leader from Finglas.p.j. Judge was shot dead outside the Royal Oak Pub in Finglas in December 1996. Guard I suspect he was killed by provisional IRA because of his erratic and violent nature. Within a few years of Judge's death, Highland had become the dominant figure in organized crime in North Dublin. He controlled a large gang of drug dealers and armed robbers from Cabra, Finglas and Ballymun. The gang were involved in the importation of large shipments of cannabis, cocaine, ecstasy and heroin as well as VAT fraud, car theft, armed robbery, extortion and the supply of firearms. Between 2002 and 2004 his gang was involved in a spate of robberies of security vans delivering money to ATM bank machines in Dublin. In a 10-month period alone, between October 2003 to July 2004, they got away with an estimated 3 euros million. Highland also had links with other major criminal gangs in Dublin and supplied guns to one of the factions involved in the Crumlindrum the feud. He also supplied guns to the notorious McCarthy Dundon gang who are heavily involved in the Limerick feud. Downfall All the criminal activity meant that Highland and his associates were soaring to the top of the most wanted list. In September 2005, Gardai decided to adapt a full-on multi-agency tactical approach to stop his gang. The plan, involving Gardai and Customs, was codenamed Operation Oak. The operation was a huge success and within the first few months it had led to the seizure of 30 kilos of heroin, 35 kilos of cocaine and 1,427 kilos of cannabis, a number of stolen vehicles. 200,000 euros in cash and weapons including AK-47s were also recovered. 26 of Highland's associates were also facing serious charges, which led to resentment and bad feeling within the gang. As guard eye pressure increased Highland became more isolated as gang members blamed him for all the attention. In November 2006 and again on the 7th of December, Highland was warned by guard eye, as is protocol, that his life was in danger. Death on the night of the 11th of December 2006, Highland, who had access to several properties and never stayed at the same place two nights in a row, stayed at the home of his niece in Scribbles Town Park, Finglas. Just before 9 a.m. the next morning, after his niece had left to take her daughter to school, two gunmen entered the house. Highland was sleeping in a bedroom upstairs while 20-year-old Anthony Campbell, an apprentice plumber who had called to the house earlier to work on a faulty radiator, was downstairs. One of the gunmen held Anthony Campbell downstairs while the other crept up the stairs and shot Highland twice in the head and four times in the back as he slept. Before they left they also shot the innocent Campbell once in the head, killing him instantly. Despite guard I suspecting the killers were two of Highland's most trusted lieutenants, no one has been convicted of the double murder. Eamon Dunn, who drove the getaway car for Highland's killers, effectively took control of the gang soon after. Dunn was linked to over a dozen gangland murders over the next three years before he himself was shot dead at a pub in Cabra in April 2010. References Further reading Williams, Paul Crime Wars. Merlin Publishing, 2008. ISBN 1903582830 Williams, Paul. Badfellows. Penguin Ireland, 2011. ISBN 1844882713.